hello. I keep saying it like Reese is starting the podcast. Hello and welcome to the podcast. And it's not. Come on, let me go into the window though. There we go. Ah! Half the Nancy Drew theme song is my ringtone for my phone, so when I come into the games and I hear it, I'm like. <laughs> going on. So welcome to this week's stream of Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Because I decided I wanted to wander around a museum and watch an old man fall down some stairs. Because what's not to love? <laughs> oh, did you? I didn't see the start of your stream last week. <laughs> That's funny. That's what happens when you start, like, doing the same things over and over again. It's like... Anyway. Hi. How's it going, everybody? Oh, this is a flawless loop of the song. <laughs> okay. So, how's everybody doing? You guys doing okay? That's good. It's not even a long loop of the song either. Anyway, let's start a new Welcome game. Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, choose either you gotta love early Lonnie, Lonnie where she's like, it's "Hey guys, I'm acting." <laughs> I love it. Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy curator at Beecher Museum in Washington D.C. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. What is he Your doing in Africa? Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going <laughs> something to I know nothing race, about. Known archaeologist. Maybe you've seen her name in the news recently in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among experts in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short at the moment, seems a little and short. they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. You Upkeep won't. <laughs> Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. I was in the middle I'm of Joanna my Riggs. letter to my Welcome boyfriend. Welcome to Beach Hill. Or my father. Whichever. Somebody. I was just checking the lock on this display case. This is one of the museum's most treasured pieces. A carving of King Pakal. Who was King Pakal? Pakal <laughs> assumed the throne Look at, at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that Jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the world, and it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes Jesus, to these deals. That You'll face is later. so, uh, arch. It's <laughs> now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of Leave this it caliber to is not kid stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. This whole thing just felt very rushed. Absolutely every part of it. Um, hard work. Just tell me where to start. No. I'm glad to be here. Please tell me more about the exhibit. In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith too, Beach Hill Sora numero uno. Okay. <laughs> This monolith, it's an important discovery? Was the monolith excavated? That's a Was good question, I would assume. Yes, a hot young team of archaeologists. Great, American what's it doing here? Mexicans both dug it out of a cave near Palenque. 
Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to I get like a hold how they make it, sure to but say I'm it. the one who closed the deal. Yeah, thank you. Why do you mention the nationalities of the archaeologists? Because in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. Oh, well, who is Alejandro Del Rio? Let's jump what right into it. No! Like? You bitch! It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. I'm angry. It cut me off. What purpose did the monolith serve? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special request of King Pakal himself, but we don't know what its purpose was. Who's Henrik? Why are you saying all these names? Like, I'm just gonna know who you're talking Who's about. Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon, world renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. I shouldn't have asked. He's I should have just been like, I don't care who the anybody is. Brain trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Jesus. the glyphs hold an important message i really don't know the maya were at their peak during pakal's reign mm. after he the died sound design. began to go downhill the civilization never Jesus. regained the oomph it had under its most extraordinary king <sighs> okay what was the key to pakal's success if the message on that monolith is from king pakal himself it might give us a clue Credit for a discovery like that can only spell one thing, my dear. R E V E N U E. But anyway, I thought you only cared about making it available to as many people as possible. Once you knock those off, we'll regroup. Once you care about profit, you're no longer doing it for the people. You're doing it for profit. You money hungry whore. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Shouldn't I have more training? Yes. Don't worry. You'll be in the swing of things soon enough. Go no, there are whole courses you have museum. to take. I'm, I'm sorry. Sure I'm going to keep saying this. Mui and Terrasante. Or just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. Mui and Terrasante. White ladies, am I right? Thanks for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. That wasn't in the orientation. <laughs> I do like the, the music in this game. The great... Something Guatemala. That is all I can read. Can't read that at all. That's terrible. That's terrible script in general. Let me look at that. Let me look at things. <laughs> Art in the Americas, April 2002. Hey, April. I keep playing things in the right months. Interviews with Prudence Rutherford. Frida Kahlo revisited. The, I like how Prudence Rutherford is the fucking headliner here. <laughs> that is not Prudence Rutherford. Not in, in, in the slightest. Is anybody else concerned by this music? I'm concerned. Oh my stars, don't underestimate Topeka, dear. That was a terrible prudence, but I don't care. Ooh, pretty. The fire ruby necklace. Topeka commission for the arts. How cultured. Yeah, nothing says culture like Topeka. Extraordinary jade piece. Tell us about it. My great great my great grandfather was one of the premier premier archaeologists of his day. This jade carving came from one of the most groundbreaking digs. Whoops, no pun intended. 
I like it. <laughs> and a Maya ruin in the Amazon Amazon jungle. I believe the year was 1898. So this is a real Maya artifact. Yes. Then why are you just carrying it around? <laughs> Gives me goosebumps. Picture is a glyph in Mayan culture. It stands for a number of things. Snake, green, south, and I'm not sure what else. Fascinating. Isn't it though? The necklace is one of my most prized possessions. It's why I that's why I keep it in the villa. I just can't bear to have it locked up in some cold bank vault. Where, what about a museum? Or in its country of origin? No? Okay. <laughs> Jewelry is to be worn and enjoyed, darlings. Don't you agree? Yeah. Okay. And let me out of this net magazine, please. Thank you. <laughs> Joanna's like, all right, she's still in my office. Who were the Maya? Maya ruins like the one featured in this photo can be found throughout southern Mexico, Guatemala, and west and western Honduras. Even today, new cities are being discovered by archaeologists. That is still true. Fucking 17 years later. That was so fun. Um Ham Radio. Necessary. <laughs> it's locked. Drink. <laughs> the term Maya refers to a group of Mesoamerican Indians from the, from the region of southern Mexico and northern Central America. Noteworthy for their <laughs> uh, uh, cultural and scientific achievements from 1800 BCE to 1500 CE. Maya society was comprised of a complex system of nobility, priests, warriors, workers, and slaves. The Maya were renowned for their functional and stylistic expertise in pottery, painting, architecture, and jewelry. Artisans worked with a variety of materials including clay, jade, gold, limestone, and wood. A variety of tools and materials used by Maya demonstrate a complex and thriving trade system. I'm just looking at shit. I don't. <laughs> there are people's political and military affairs, but their religious practices as well. Kings were considered to be divinely appointed by the supreme god Itzamana. Itzmana. Itzamana. I don't. While the majority of the kings were male, there were several no notable exceptions, including Lady Kanalika, who ruled for over 20 years. Ooh. This unusual jade relief features an intricate representation of Lord Pakal. One of the greatest rulers of class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the vaguely throat singing. The vague throat singing in the background was weirding me out. <clears throat> in this relief, Pakal's mother offers her son the divine crown sanction. A Zakuk was a powerful figure in Maya history and established the Pakal dynasty. Whatever, man. Oh. I am not reading that. I can barely read it at all. <laughs> I 
anyone was worried I wasn't gonna look at everything. My god. <sighs> Deities depicted in ancient in this exhibit are rain, moon, and sun gods. But we won't tell you which is which. Three masks to pick the corn god, Yumcox, the Jaguar god. I can never say that, but anyway. Jablanke. Jablanke? I can never do it. Anyway. And the sun god, Haokin. Calendar stone. Sulkin calendar stones used to compute the 260 day ceremonial year. Make them all the way through this museum. <laughs> Customs and rituals. Maya ball game artifacts. Okay. Thought maybe I could look at this stuff. But no, no, no. <laughs> but because of body shaping devices, the Maya use these devices to change their appearance. writing system rather was is the most advanced ever developed in the new world as with the egyptian hieroglyphics symbols represent either sounds or concepts mayan is considered a distinct linguistic group and several modern variants still exist including kinche i can kakchiko and uh, ixel <laughs> Scribes played an important role in Maya culture, as they did in all cultures, because they take down history. <laughs> the Mayan writing system used logographs to represent either sounds or ideas, as we just said literally a second ago in another. Anyway. <laughs> Mayan numerical notations, both, both the bar and dot system and pictorial representations of gods. Note the logo graph for ink inscribed on the plate. <laughs> it's basically just saying put your ink here. It is the ancient equivalent of Insert straw here. <laughs> Shipping? I don't need that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Aww. I was really hoping I could read the bulletin board. Whatever, man. <laughs> oh. There's no. Oh. There he is. <laughs> like, I could have sworn this is where we find the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Vanderhune. Oh. That's right. I'm Nancy. Joanna tells me you're translating the glyphs on the Palenque monolith. Yes, it's quite a project. The opportunity of a lifetime for me. Okay. Mm. How's the translation coming along? Fabulous, just fabulous. Uh, anyway, what can I do for you? <laughs> okay, that was a weird transition. Um, I'm curious about your work. How do you go about translating a glyph anyway? It can be a complicated process, involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, <laughs> and a healthy dose of guesswork. Yeah, there is a weird Henrik following, and I don't know how comfortable I am with it. Especially since he reminds me of like a, a snake or lizard person. So there isn't a definitive dictionary of Maya. I can't just hit something with a dictionary. Up? 
I'm afraid not. Because I can do that you with the uh, Egyptian so intricate later. And full of subtleties that multiple meanings may be embedded in a single glyph. So three distinct looking glyphs may all translate to mean sunshine, roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. Hmm, Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. Thank I'm very you, busy Henrik. with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. Aw, he can read me like a book. <laughs> See you around, Henrik. That will be fine. <laughs> that will be fine. It's it's okay if I see you. Wait 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 wait. Krollmeister, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> don't give me permission to run a muck around a museum. Check voicemail often. How? You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. That's how. <laughs> Let's see. Sort shards of pottery and reassemble pot at lab workstation. Bring addenda to monolith loan agreement to Alejandro Del Rio at the Mexican Consulate for Signature. Order bubble wrap. Match recorded narrations. Reorder Maya numbering exhibit in the main exhibit hall. Exhibition hall. I haven't read it all the way, totally. I can tell that these, this says something. Don't know what. But I love that this is our first incarnation of Sunny. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Do I have to remember this number or will she remember for me? Should I order you that? Have no voice, my she will not. She only knows to call Franklin Rose or whatever. Jesus. Oh. And I will, um... Oh, she doesn't eat a Cocoa Kringle. She should. Oh, I forgot. Where does the fucking knob go? <laughs> oh, switch plane on this. Oh, okay. I'm gonna use that. But it's mine now. Link. Yummy chocolate's awesome. <laughs> if any of you can read things, I, I truly it appreciate looks like it. Some pieces are missing. Okay, calm down, Nance. It looks like some pieces are missing. Taco Canyon Cultural Center. Sheila Schultz, director. <laughs> Instruction manual. Oh. For the uh, ham radio. Blue. Got it. We'll be using Morse code. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> okay. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Buy milk. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Oh, shut up, you little goody two-shoes. It's locked. It's locked. 
And I use it's my locked. keys. I should ask Henrik actually about the Greetings. same pieces. Um. Okay. I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. <laughs> Sunny June bobbed around this place like an untethered balloon. <laughs> Who knows where he left those documents? You'll just have to hunt them down. And FYI, Senor Del Rio has been extremely touchy about this monolith loan, so try not to keep him waiting. I mean, uh, how am I supposed to know See where it around, is, Henry. though? Bye. Like, as Nancy, not as the game, as the person playing the game. Like, <laughs> as Nancy, how do they expect this from me? for Beach Hill. I'm very smart. What's going on here? Ugh. I can't really read these. But I can tell that it's stuff. Yes. I like how she is sure to walk around the, um, okay. the little loading zone square. She's like, nope, I'm gonna go all the way around it. Ooh, mystery. Sunny's stuff. Oh, who the fuck put that in there? Oh, excellent. Got like a National Enquirer type thing. Mayan temple used as an as an alien as a landing pad? As alien landing? I don't know. But it looks um very interesting. Okay, well I found a shard. It's pretty good. Sunny June. Where would I hide shit? Ooh. Famous British explorer Archibald Rutherford discovered this piece in 1884. The Palenque Temple. The text on the slab commemorates Picard's ascension. Okay, and the Rutherford slab. <laughs> oh, Rutherford slab, I love it. Uh, marriage lentil. The marriage between Shield Jaguar and Lady Shock is represented in this piece. Lady Shock uh, offers a shield and jaguar helmet for her to her betrothed. Lots of women offering headgear. <laughs> Very sacred to the Mayans. They were like, helmets are important, guys. He was more likely to protect your head. King Pakal did it? What? I mean, I guess in a roundabout way, probably. <laughs> Bird, Jaguar, and Captive. This panel is one of the several commissioned by Bird, Jaguar, and details his capture of a Cajal, or prominent n local nobleman. I feel like that's not the right word. But I'm not remembering enough about Mayan history. I was much more into, like, the Incans. 
Anyway. Uh, shows Lady Shark's shield, Jaguar's wife celebrating her husband's ascension. Uh, he kneels. Can't read what's in italics. <laughs> She's got something tied around her knees. Um, okay. It's tradition. Oh, wait. Weepo is a traditional woven Maya blouse that holds both symbolic and ceremonial significance. The Maya believed that whipples had whipples, sorry, had magical powers. That's okay. I feel like I'm gonna just bottle up my irritation until it festers and I explode tomorrow night. <laughs> Or later tonight. Who fucking knows? This side looks damaged. Eh. Nancy Drew, Jesus or should Christ. I say, Detective Drew? I'm Sinclair. I don't like you. Go away. You're scaring me. Who? Hi. Hi there. I guess you've done your homework. I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Thank you, Ray Ray. I appreciate the transcription, because I was finally able to read it, but, like, this stuff is really hard for me to read. Well, I'm not on a case right now, that's for sure. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Remember? So, how's Remember? this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Do diamonds count? Do diamonds count? Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, like a diamond. Thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing it this big. This is how big my window is. Yeah. <laughs> um, what kind of jeopardy? Oh, no, is there something I can do? Don't fall what for it. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Uh, uh okay. What scoundrels? What are you It's freaking? a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later, nope. and I'll explain Thank everything you. then. Hey, Dad, I'm gonna go meet up with a stranger that I met in, in a museum exhibit when he snuck up on me and knew way too much about me. This sounds legit. This sounds really safe. Where's your office? 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Bing Cherry Boulevard? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So wait, what does she notice is damaged? They're all, all sides are damaged. What's she talking about? <laughs> it was in the ground. Looks like this side is missing a part. Oh, she's meaning that. Well, no, she wasn't meaning that. Okay, that's neat. I feel like I'm trapped in a roundabout. How do I get out of this? Help! That was scary. Epic staring contest. That's what it is. <laughs> Sculpture. Or a throne bag? Hmm. The seated figures are a royal couple whose detail is unusual for this area. The function of the artifact is unknown, but may have been part of a throne. Inscriptions reveal that the piece was dedicated to the goddess of the moon. Well, I mean... Little is known about this relief. It depicts a nobleman stand standing on a captive. Note the elaborate headdress and cape containing references to Tlaloc, the rain god. <sighs> cool. This altar was dedicated during the reign of the 16th of the 16th ruler 
Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> the focal point of this artifact is the large two-headed crocodile. This creature is called the bicephalic monster. The bicephalic monster. Okay. Um, and it represents the continuous cycle of life and death. That's fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to keep moving forward. <laughs> limestone panel depicts the, oops, the, <laughs> the limestone panel depicts the presentation of three captives to the stone to the throne, oh, Jesus, of S.H.I.E.L.D. Jaguar II. Okay. I realize I didn't actually look at the nobleman standing on his captive. I wanna... Okay, alright, man. Guess I don't really get to see the captive. Pretty. Hmm. Lentil 15 represents Lady Shock engaging in a ritually induced hallucination. An ancestor appears in the mouth of the vision serpent. Okay. Well. Still no thingy. I need to find a temple key card. She is so insistent about this shit. Alright, man. Fine, we'll find you a temple key card. Calm down. Oh, great. Of course, that's where it is. I don't understand how these things got everywhere. I get that it's supposed to be, oh, Hurricane Sunny, but, like, no. How does one do this without doing it intentionally? They don't. No, thank you. Not at the moment. I'll do that when I have to. <laughs> oh. It's locked. It's locked. It needs a card. Oh, does it? Sorry, she's just very... Mystery Temple. Pope Museum Guide. You will learn about the Maya culture and maybe even discover the hidden tomb of King Pakal. Use your temple key card to play different games on each temple level. Once you've finished every activity for a level, your temple key card will unlock the entrance to the next level. Or you can just pick it back in off of somebody else. It's just an idea. Um, oh wait, I won't get any credit if I get anything right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, you know what? I wonder if... Oops, I went the wrong... Just missed it. How many more pieces do you think I'm there. missing? Now I can start putting this together. Oh, okay, Nance. All right, just some Elmer's glue. We're all ready to go. Good to see she's not um, bothering to put on gloves or anything like that.
Damn, I'm good. I don't like the way the graphic is shaking. Okay. That's done. <laughs> Check. All right, calm down, Nancy. This is a museum, remember? Ah, oh, I do great work. You can't even tell it was broken. Look at that. It's like new. Thank you, Moobot. You're very helpful. Her voice is so weird in the early games. She's so overly concerned. She's so overly everything. She's very... How do I put it? <laughs> I know. Oh, I guess we have to use the computer and like. What's her names? Office or something. Joanna. Her name's Joanna. Okay, well. Was she on an intercom or something? It sounded like she was on an intercom. How are the tasks coming along? How are the tasks coming along? Um, I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. Check with Henrik on that. I did. Henrik doesn't know either. I hate you. When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. He said he'd drop everything to come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up? You're hired. Why did you say giddy up? Were you, like, riding on his back at the time? What's happening here? What am I missing? <laughs> Where was he working before? At the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center in New Mexico. Oh. Okay. I've got work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. I hate that she uses it. Travel's guide. Oh, okay, that's it. No, that's... <laughs> Fuck you. Memorize the place. It is in a loop, in all fairness. The knob is missing. Oh, good thing I grabbed this knob from a desk drawer. For no fucking reason. Can I... Do I have to ask what I'm supposed... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. I want that one. Only that one. And oh, the road. What the fuck is going on in this game? Oh wait, that's the outdoor. Although the geographic range of Maya cities is well known, it is difficult to determine the range of Maya influence. Some experts believe the Maya may have traveled as far south as the Amazon and as far north as North America. I mean, okay. Although the geographic range... Nope. Shut up your pie hole. The Maya use different methods to that represent is not numbers. What this is about. Here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 19, from top left to bottom right. Okay. Notice how um. some numbers <clears throat> are represented with bars and Hey, stop. Stop. <sighs> okay. Where's my notebook? Dokoni deska. about a pen. <laughs> you 
You're not a pen. Just look under the table for everything, Ariana. That's where you keep everything. Okay. So. We've got one exhibit of the ham radio. Ceramic bowls, such as the one featured in this exhibit, may have been used as vessels for burnt offerings of incense or corn. This bowl was either dedicated to or used to supplicate the god of war. Oh, it was used to supplicate the god of war. Jesus Christ. Ruler of the mighty kingdom of Palenque. All those who come before me witness my power. Lord Pakal is considered the most influential ruler of the Maya civilization. Cultural, scientific, and military achievement flourished under... <laughs> Lady Zack Cook ruled Palenque before her son ascended the throne in 615 CE. Okay. Maya tradition required that the kingship be handed down from father to son, but Lady Zack Cook broke this custom by establishing herself as a deity. This gave her the power to justify the new royal lineage. Because his mother had been de- I don't want to hear any more from you guys. <laughs> The Maya were pantheistic, believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Chak was the god of rain. Hmm. Ishel, goddess of the moon, presided over childbirth and basket weaving. A how kin god represented faces. the sun. <laughs> Nothing for those gods. Because they're like, it's going to be too confusing to give them two different or things with gods. Okay. The Maya ball game was a religious activity as well as a spectator sport. Players would propel a rubber ball through a small stone hoop using their thighs, hips, and fore. Sorry. <laughs> the date on this slab uses the Tzolkin, or divine calendar, made up of 20 weeks each with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types of weeks progress <laughs> independently of each other. Okay. Nothing there. Maya scribes recorded the official history of the kings and queens, but very little is known about daily life in the Maya world. Although there are strange supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, played an important role <laughs> in Maya mythology. These monsters were often associated with the earth, caves, or mountains. Oh. The bicephalic monster sometimes called the celestial or cosmic please stop i can't handle you <laughs> i just i can't i can't handle these narrators in addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes the maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty beads were dangled in front of infants faces to encourage crossed eyes a trait considered attractive to the Maya. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, oh. the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty. Beads were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage crossed eyes, a trait considered attractive to the Maya. Mm -hmm. No 
voiceover for you, you're not important enough. The Maya kings were often in a protracted state of war with local Cajals. Here, Bird Jaguar stands to the right as a captured lord kneels at his feet. The Cajal holds a broken umbrella, a gesture typical. The I mean, Maya like, kings were often in a protracted okay. state of war. That's an interesting take. <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, but I saw something on the floor I needed to get. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Ham radios are often the only means of contacting the outside world. Ham is an acronym for handheld amateur radio. Um, and then here, this is the bicephalic. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three captives wear garments associated with bloodletting. A variety of instruments including stingray spines, thorns, and bone awls were employed for this activity. Ritualized bloodletting was Stop a Stop it! Don't keep talking about it, Jesus. Okay, anyway. And you don't got anything. Okay. Now then, let's figure out where I can... Uh, unless there's... They don't make me do things inside, too, right? No, this is all like activities and shit. God, I hope so. I'm not going in there yet. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where would I program? I mean, it would seem up here somewhere, right? I could probably ask someone. Ooh, what's this? <sighs> Addenda. In 200 days total. Jesus. Okay, glad I found that. Nothing over here, so whatever, man. Mary and L.A. Owens. Dr. Maria Claw. Overman family. Skeeter Trudeau. Marjorie and Alvin DeVay, Persimmon Woods, Millard and Nelly, oh, Hugh Honeyham, <laughs> Marquis Del Falcone. What? I wonder. Wait. Spangenberg family, the Esther Beeswack, and Snooky McGee <laughs> Foundation. <laughs> Snooky McGee. Ugrin family. Bubba Fatsis. Artemis Basque. Uh, Felipe Funk. <laughs> Punchy LaRue. Literally the only reason I came here was to find Punchy LaRue. Astrid Starflex. Uh, anyway. Millicent and Casper Lawrence Jones. Rosemary Fish. Mary and GB Chiltoski. 
Yeah, I know. I was just thinking about that. How she's sending something that's not even dated. I guess maybe we're supposed to assume that Alejandro is supposed to be dating shit. I don't think he'll be there at this hour. What? What hour is it? Eight forty-five. Probably up to go home. Oh, maybe she's got a computer there. I forgot we could go back to the hotel. But yeah, that's really bad. Like document etiquette, cause like it was external. I need a disc. I need a disc. I'm confused. Was I not holding a disc? I need a disc. The fuck is this fire icon? Burn it! Dad's friend Franklin Rose asked me to volunteer. Met my boss. I don't know how she's been keeping this updated while I've been there, but you know. Well, the prefix is 555. Five. Jesus. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize their uh, wink wink nudge nudge went so far back. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, that's the recycling bin icon. They're like, oh no, what is, what's happening over here? Is it like a vest and oh my goodness, what is she wearing? Okay. Um, Hey, Bess, it's me, Nancy. What's new? Oh, sure. Now she's all soft-spoken. In the museum, it's... I need a key! I made mincemeat out of her anyway. We don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? So far, so good. There's a lot of excitement about the upcoming exhibit, especially since we have the Palenque monolith. The who? The monolith. It's a giant block of stone recently excavated from a cave near Palenque. Yeah, I feel like that wasn't the part she was questioning, Apparently the monolith it's a part. Very big deal. They think it's 1500 years old. So, have you seen it? This uh monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. This Like how big? As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy, but how would a person tell this monolith apart from, say, some other big rock? Well, for one thing, it has Maya glyphs carved into it. Glyphs? Pictures that represent words or ideas, also known as logographs. Joanna says the glyphs might be a message from King Pakal. What kind That's... of message? We don't know yet. Henrik Vanderhuhn, Beach Hills epigrapher, is working on a translation. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. Well, Nancy, you're sounding very curatorial. Very curatorial indeed. We've been worried that you would be a little bored without a mystery to solve, but it <laughs> sounds like your brain will have plenty to chew on. The whole Maya culture is a mystery to me at the moment. The last thing I'm going to be is bored. I'm sure of that. Speaking of kings, this card game's not over yet, Bess. Yes, well, I hope you've got plenty of bait for your fishing pole, dear cousin. Okay, you two. I'll call back later. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. Might as well, right? Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. <laughs> may I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy. Just a minute, but great to hear Jesus. from you. Picked up very How's quickly. How's the internship treating you? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? Um. Oh, do I get to actually choose what I say this time? Um. So far, so good. I think. 
There's a lot of work to do before we launch this exhibit, but somehow we'll pull it off. Glad to hear you're settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. <laughs> I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Nothing's getting Bye, stolen, God. Mr. Rose. I promise. She's just jinxing it. Like, the entire way. Okay. I don't know. 7 a.m.? 8 a.m. Say 8 a.m. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, let's try the Mexican consulate. I'm glad they have this pentagon just to stop there. No, you're here for a purpose, Nance. How may I help you? Okay. No, I will not listen to Lonnie attempt to speak Spanish. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. The new deputy curator over at Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern day conquistadors? Mm. Mm. I don't like either of these questions. I beg your pardon, but how does a deputy curator become a pirate in your book? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. When the Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the conquistadors or conquerors. They robbed they the indigenous known as the peoples of their wealth, before not just their they gold, conquered. but their artwork, their sacred Anywhere. objects. Not just Mexico. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Yes. What does that have to do with Beach Hill? Alejandro, I understand that oh, I don't like this in the name of exploration, but that was hundreds of years ago. What does this have to do with Beach Hill? There is more. In the night There's century, more. Hold on. I just discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. I mean, yeah. <sighs> Enjoy it. Learn about your people's great talents and achievements. It's not fucking for you. Sorry. <laughs> I see. Well, I should probably get going. Yeah, let's just stop there. I see. Well... I should probably get going. Here are the changes to the loan agreement for the monolith. Ugh. I just need your signature, please. Oh, fine. Make me put it out. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Ugh. Are you sure? I don't mind waiting. You may consider your mission accomplished. Uh, yeah, all right, man. Well, I'm uncomfortable with this conversation, so let's get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. That's an interesting, um... <sighs> choice for that voice actor to Establishing legal provenance, it's your duty. Your work of art may travel great distances and, cha and change many ha and hands many times during the course of its lifetime. Typically, legal transfer of ownership happens either as a sale, an inheritance, or a gift. Provenance documents are important means of establishing an artwork's authenticity as well as confirming the legality of its ownership. They show the geographic, personal, and 
commercial route of a work of art. That is, they identify. Blah, 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 blah. Ideally, an unbroken chain, trace all the way back to the art, artist's workshop in the present day, to the present day. Frequently, though, some documents are missing. When researching artwork provenance, the, the following documents may provide clues. Exhibition catalogs, sales catalogs, collection catalogs, papers and business records of collectors, papers and business records of dealers, wills, insurance inventories. Okie dokie, artichokey. Let's get out of this place. And let's go risk our lives for the sake of storytelling, I guess. Taylor Sinclair. It's about time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. Um. No, thank you. No, she doesn't you. want them no matter you what. Said Beach Hill is in jeopardy. Interesting. I know why. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford, a major patron of the arts, had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, her a villa in Topeka. Of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Okay. What does this what have to do with Beach Hill? Do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. You gotta stop talking at me like that. <laughs> Doesn't Beach Hill have a security system in place? The museum has a basic alarm system, but it's not exactly state of the art. I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. Okay. Well. I understand your concern, <laughs> but what can I do to help? <laughs> we need Why are you asking eyes. this of me? We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. <laughs> You're smelling pretty fishy, Mr. Sinclair. I see what I did there? Turns words on him. Um. I appreciate the vote of confidence. That's actually not what I meant to click, but that's okay. You know, I'm not bionic. Don't play modest mouse with me. Gotcha. Not a fan of modest mouse. Modest mouse? <laughs> Most people call me Nosy Parker. But anyway, tell me something about the art business. Is that a I think you won't let me scroll thing? down. You bet your socks it is. Would you believe I dug it up in my backyard? Um, no, but I could humor you. No, but I could humor you. <laughs> I guess that would make the painting a genuine artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is we have going to bananas meet Poppy over Dada at some point. Like... I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. Like, never mind. I'm gonna save this because I have a pitch for a game. Risa, that's what we're doing this week Ow. as one of our episodes. Oh, we've also got our hundredth episode coming up. Got some plans for that. Hey, by the way, Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. Yeah. <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground, a lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. <clears throat> An extortionist would mean that he's taking what doesn't belong to him. What he's saying is those kids took my lunch money, basically. So, fuck this game. Fuck every person in this game. 
When you sell a piece of art, what kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom. Unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? That's... No. I'd better get going. Thanks for stopping by. Also, how would you? <laughs> They're from Oaxaca. The Beach Hill Museum. Hold on a sec. One second. My face is gonna go away for a moment. Or well, it's gonna transition to a shitty camera. Transition back. Uh oh. Yeah, activate now. There we go. Sorry, the white balance got off. I had to reset it. Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. <laughs> Good thing Franklin gave me the museum key. I'm Rebecca, but I'll give it to her, I promise. Come in. Good, I was coming in anyway. I didn't actually mean to knock. <laughs> How are the tasks coming along? I hate the way she says that line. I'm not sure what to do with those exhibit narrations. Henrik can help you with that. What do you do here, Joanna? I've got work to do. Bye. Fucking rude ass bitch. <laughs> You're like, that's kind of my reaction to everybody in this game. This bitch. Okay. <sighs> if I were, you know what? Fine. I'll go ask fucking what's his nuts. Oh, of course he's gone. Fuck off, game. You have no voicemail. Just making sure. Did that. Mm. I'm trying to do that one. What else can I do? Did that. Order bubble wrap. I mean, I didn't finish it yet. Well, I mean, reorder Maya numbering exhibit in main exhibition hall. Let's go do that. <laughs> What's in that book? I can't remember. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing in that book. Temple in the sky. I feel like. There's a silly name. Jesus Christ. My phone is scary. <sighs> Beach Hill been hit. Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. Okay. And that is when Ariana sits down in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Don't know about Nancy. I am not a fan of alarms. I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. Well, yes, I was hoping you just look closer, not try to touch it. You lunatic. The Pakal carving is gone. Come in. She sounds very calm. Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. Uh. I'd like to have a look at the crime scene myself. Did the police turn up any clues? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. I don't have a magnifying glass. 
Great. Great. I'll let you know if I She cannot hear the to it. condescension. You want to put your little magnifying glass up to it? All right. Cool there, bitch. No, seriously, where the Okay, it's got to be back there somewhere. Why do I... Anyway, okay. I'll go uh, examine the crime scene. No, wait. Where am I going? Fucking stop! Yoink! Crime paper. I've looked at that. <laughs> Is the thing for programming it in here somewhere? No, I guess not. I know, fucking Henrik will tell me, but. Okay, Jesus. You have to climb all the way down the steps. Never mind that nothing happens between the top and the bottom. What the fuck? Where the fuck is Henrik? Looking at voicemail, but B, maybe call Franklin. You have voicemail. Yeah. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just. This theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. <laughs> right, because cops um, never return to see you trying to give it a second look. I want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating... Also, why did they leave that paper? I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To reply messages... No. I'm afraid to call him because I know that at some point if I call him, it can fuck up the whole thing. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission in the meantime, run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered based on the info available elsewhere in the museum. We don't want a little rascal rebellion on our hands when the exhibit opens now, do we? Be back ASAP. THX. Henrik. Okie dokie. Jeez, that was scary. Manny Zero cheered. Thank you, Manny Zero. Okay. No, seriously, why did the police leave this behind? I think that was very irresponsible of them. Nobody does their jobs correctly in this game. I am just going to point that out. Okay. Where's my card? Let's see. What are the questions? Quiz. Pakal ruled over which city in present day Mexico? I see, I feel like that's. This piece of paper, obviously meant as the perpetrator's signature, clearly is not useful to this investigation and will be left behind. Exactly. I feel like I'm wrong, but. Oops. Mistype. Hey, hey. I was like, is this? Um, it's... I 
could be wrong about the spelling. Okay. Uh, is it Z okay? I have it written down somewhere. Where did my book go? Okay, it is with a C. What is the name of the calendar used to compute the 260 day ceremony year? Shit. I'll do it. I'll figure it. I can't. I can't remember right now. It's <laughs> the only word that's coming up is Tlalic, and that's not it. Ah, uh, where was that? Fucking bowl. There's a miracle system, but just one more tile. Okay. Oh, I can't just add it. Okay. Oh, like I can just. Okay. I'll find the other one somewhere. Oh wait. That's a scribe thing. Gods. Kings. Where was it? Reigns of the Maya. Arts and crafts. No, no, no. Where is it? Oh, pff. wait, hold on. It is, isn't it? No. Where is it? What am I thinking? Wait, actually, it might be mentioned here. Tolkien, that's it. Okay. What is the name Supreme God in Maya mythology? Fuck. I wish there was a way to just, you know, go through the questions and answering them wrong and that sort of shit. You know what I mean? Ooh, holding up. Theistic, believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Um, I mean, this is, oh, that's right, this is okay. Okay. I did not mean to click on that. I mean, okay, so, I mean, is it talking about... Lady Zack Cook ruled Palenque before her son ascended the throne in 615 CE. Maya tradition required that the kingship be handed down from father to son, but Lady Zack Cook broke this custom by establishing herself as a deity. This gave her the Um... Hmm... I 
there a god in, in here? In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry oh, and costumes, Alright, that's the, the fucking Mayish. slab. Didoi. There's chains. Is... The Maya kings were often in a protracted and state that's of... the call thing. What is this? Oh, her vision. She'll drag my Sunshine, like you're talking about. <sighs> People staring. <laughs> The rain god. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Okay. Ham radios are often the only. Wait, Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Ham. Bloodletting shit. Did it happen to say ritualized to blood God? Letting was a common practice among the Maya? In this panel, the three captive shield garments for the so second. Mm, okay. Am I missing something? Or is this legit one we can't? I wonder if we're allowed to ask her. <laughs> like, would she know? Need something? I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. Obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? She's very condescending with her phrasing. Why don't you do a little analysis on it? Um, picky picky boo. Can you explain how you want me to reorder that Maya numbering exhibit? Check with Henrik on that. You are useless. You are you a useless Henrik? piece of shit. I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Um. Okay, great. Okay, great. Did you happen to see the thief's message? The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. Flaming purple disgrace? What? No, I'm not saying that. I've got work to do. Semper ubi sabubi. Because he wants it to legitimately go back to Mexico. So, fuck off. It's just a magazine, right? I want to go through your shit. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, that is really weirdly specific, because it's... anyway. God of Travelers. Wind God or whatever. Okay, well. This is f 
fun. <laughs> Here, perhaps? Oh, hey, hey. Good thing they leave it fucking unlocked. Jesus Christ, as I grab it with my ungloved hand. Ah. Oh. Okay. Don't you think? I don't know. I'll find something. I'm taking guesses at that point. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe there's something in there. Ink. Put ink here. This side up. Well, the Maya like... ball game was a religious activity as chick, well chick, as a chick spectator chick sport. Hmm. Cool knife, bro. such as bloodletting and human sacrifice are seen as barbaric. Many ancient Maya customs are practiced today by the indigenous peoples of northern Central America and southern Mexico. Yet. Can Henrik be back now? I need his help. <laughs> Talk to me, Henrik! Talk to me! But I wanna. Cool. This doesn't seem ill-conceived. And the paper burst into flames because I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now you don't have to yell, you're talking to yourself. Substance. Okay. Okay, well, anyway. Ho ho ho! That's it. Now what's that? Let me take this back. Close you back that up. Doesn't work. It's because I'm trying to close it, Nance. Fuck. Let's see. the worst time finding shit. <laughs>
According to this chart, HG stands for Mercury. Okay. Oof. S stands for sulfur. So the handprint was made from mercury and sulfur. Sulfur. Why is she saying it that way? What is wrong with her? There's something wrong with Nancy, you guys. Like, other than the usual things we talk about. Yeah, that's a sign I ignore my lab all the time. Oh, yeah, no, because I, I know what the... I just couldn't... A, I couldn't read the chart anyway, and B, I always, as soon as everything's up actually on the table, I'm like, I can't tell what this is. I don't know what, where anything is anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything going on in here? Anything interesting? Stop. No. You know, maybe I should do part of my job, which is to order the stupid, um, thing. tried to order the supplies I didn't finish it yet well I don't know how to finish it Nancy you're not helping me at all I called the number Real restoration. <laughs> oh. BH-119K. That's where it is. That's what I should have been paying attention to. I got this shit. It's fine. Let me take a guess. No. thing bomb diddles the Maya used different methods to represent numbers here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 19 from top left to bottom right notice how some numbers are represented with bars and dots and some are represented with pictures Oh, no, no, that's not. Maya scribes recorded the official history of the kings and queens, but very little is known about daily life in the Maya world. Although there are thousands of inscriptions found on artifacts and architecture, there are only a handful of Maya okay. books. So in that existence. one's correct, so I don't have to worry about that. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas the of the ham world. Radio one. Ham so radios number. are often the only means of contacting the outside world. Ham is an acronym Which for I don't ham. remember what's playing at the ham radio station one. Uh, Strange supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, played okay. an important role in Maya mythology. These monsters were often associated with the earth, 
caves and I or have mountains. noted that that's um, a numerical the one. bicephalic monster so, actually, sometimes called the celestial or cos the Maya Yay. use different methods okay so that one's right now I am Lord Pakal ruler of the mighty kingdom of Palenque I assume all that's those who come before yeah. me witness my power. Lord Pakal is considered the most influential ruler of the Maya civilization. Cultural, scientific, and military achievement flourished under his reign. As with all Maya. Oh, wait, that's what I just did. Although the geographic range of Maya cities is well known, range? it is difficult to determine the range of Maya influence. Some experts believe the Maya may have traveled as far south as the Amazon and as far north as North. Um, I just did that one. Uh, okay, let's back out and then go to. Wait, I'm, I'm missing an entire middle part. There we go. Gee. The date on this slab uses the Zolkin. Or divine Sulkin. calendar made up of 20 weeks each um, with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types of weeks progress independently of each other. The date on this slab uses the Sulkin or divine calendar made up of 20 weeks each with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types of weeks progress independently of each other. Why don't I have that written here? Okay, well, it's fine. Process of elimination, y'all. <laughs> the Maya kings were often in a protracted state of war with Cajals. local Cajals. Here, Bird Jaguar stands to the right as a captured lord kneels at his feet. The Cajal holds a broken umbrella, a gesture typical of a sub. Oh, I see. The Maya were pantheistic, pantheistic. believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects god of Maya life. as I put it. <laughs> Chak was the god of rain. Ishel, goddess of the moon, presided over childbirth and basket weaving. Ahaukin represented the sun. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty. Beads were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage cross eyes, a trait considered attractive to the Maya. Okay. Which is what's currently on the Rutherford slab, so... Okay. The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Kun Ahau and Balam, and the twins of sacrificial dance, Chak Shibsh Chak, and the baby jaguar. The Maya were particularly fascinated with twins, and many of the Maya gods were paired together. I don't uh, recall this one being a thing, but okay. Ceramic bowls, such bowls. as the one featured in this exhibit, may have been used as vessels for burnt offerings of incense or that one is correct so i don't have to worry about it lady zach cook ruled palenque before her son ascended the throne in 615 ce maya tradition the maya ball game was a religious activity as well as a spectator sport players would ball game a rubber ball through a small stone hoop using their thighs hips and forearms it is believed that the players were often sacrificed at It is believed. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three captives wear garments associated with bloodletting. A variety of instruments in Okay. Let's um
Yeah, I'm missing one about the Tzolkin. No idea where it is. Anyway, the reason I was in here No, stop. Okay, anything on this shelf? No, of course not. Is that what am I looking for? What am I which one am I looking for? Now I don't remember. <laughs> Nothing else in his shit. And that's very troubling figurine. Shit, man. Anyway, uh, let's go find. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, okay. the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty. Beads were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage cross oh, eyes, a trait considered attractive to the Maya. In I don't remember hearing anything about the Rutherford Slash. Does anybody else? In costumes, the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their beauty. Beads were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage crossed eyes. Okay, well, anyway, um, we'll go just check the ones that are incorrect, so we can figure out because the ritual is one. The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin, okay. or divine calendar, made up of 20 weeks each with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types of weeks progress independently of each other. I'm missing 12 and 13 on here. Okay, anyway, um... Fuck. Okay, so that's what's actually on there. Okay, sorry. Time to figure out what I'm supposed to do, really. I must, be, I must be missing some going the other way in this part of the museum. Ritualized bloodletting was Which a common correct. practice among the Maya. Or wait. Ritualized bloodletting was a yeah. common practice among the Maya. In I this didn't. panel, three captives wear garments associated with bloodletting. Okay. That's weird. Oh. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Ham radios are often the only okay. means of contacting the outside world. Ham is an acronym for ham. I didn't, like, mark this shit right. Okay, well, 
I'm just realizing this. It looks. It needs a card. I bet you this it needs a card. Shut up, Nancy. I swear to God. The Maya kings were often in a protracted state of war with local Cajals. Here, bird ja The four miniature gods we clinging go. to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Hun Ahau and Balam, and the twins of sacrificial dance, Chak Shib Chak, and the baby jaguar. The Maya were particularly fascinated with twins and many of the Maya gods were paired together. The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Hun Ahau and Balam, and the twins of sacrificial dance, Chak Shib Chak, and the baby jaguar. The Maya were particularly fascinated with twins, and many of the Maya gods were paired together. Okay. Four gods hanging Oh so yeah, that seems correct. The four minutes. Shut up. This is the helmet or shield and Jaguar helmet. In addition to adorning themselves with jewels. I don't remember ever hearing anything about the Rutherford Slab. Okay, um... The Maya used different methods to represent numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 19. From top left... Okay, um... The Maya used different methods to represent numbers. Here is an example of the okay, numbers from so 0 to correct. 19, from top left to bottom right. Notice how some numbers are represented with bars and dots, oh. and some are represented with pictures. I don't recall changing that. Archaeologists work in some of the most no. remote areas of the world. Ham radios are often the only means of contacting the outside. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> a little bit interesting. But, um, oh my god, you know what I haven't done? All in the last two hours? <laughs> okay. So I've saved now. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Um. Okay. So that's gonna be it for tonight. I. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> will see you guys tomorrow when we'll um keep learning about the maya kind of sort of i'll bring my own materials it's fine don't worry about it um but okay yeah see you guys tomorrow have a good night